Hi everyone and welcome to the Synergy YouTube channel. My name is Sophia and today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute full body workout where you need no equipment. You only need a small space to work out in, so this is the perfect workout for you to do at home. We're going to kick start the workout with a warm up with four exercises and then we'll go straight into the main workout. So grab your mat, make sure you've got a clear space to work out in and follow along with me. Okay, we're going to start this workout with some body weight squats and we're doing this for 40 seconds. So just getting as deep as you can. You can use your arms as a bit of counterbalance if you're struggling to find that balance. Nice breath in on the way down, nice breath out. Really getting nice and deep in each of those squats. Okay, next we're going into a good morning. So I want you to stand with feet hip width apart, hands by the head, glide the hips back. So this is a great posterior chain warm up exercise opening the hamstrings, feel that stretch, coming up. Work on keeping the back nice and flat. Okay, next we're doing a standing bicycle crunch. So reach knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Really get that knee up as high as you can to make connection with your elbow. Waking up those obliques, waking up your core, getting those hip flexors firing up. Okay, next, come to the end of your mat. You're going to do some inchworms. Now, so hands towards the floor, come out into a high plank, walk your hands back. Okay, finishing off there, walking the hands back in, rolling up through your spine. Okay guys, we're gonna go into the main workout. We're going to be working out for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest in between. I've got five exercises for you and we're going to be doing three rounds. Make sure you grab your water, have your mat prepared, and we're gonna get started, okay? To begin with, we're gonna start off with a sumo deadlift. So we're working on our hinge movement, working the glutes, working the posterior chain. Okay, so I want those feet nice and wide, toes slightly pointed out. This is a hinge in the hip, we can also bend the knees. Okay, we're going to reach down, coming up. Really set those hips back before you come up. Get deep into it. And again, making sure the back is nice and flat so we're not rounding down towards the floor. Still keeping that length through the spine. Okay, finish off with your last rep. And we're going to come onto the mat. So coming down, follow me down. We're going to go into alternating V ups. A really good core exercise. Okay, so lying on your back, extend your feet away, slightly bending the knees. We're going to be reaching up with long arms up to our shoelaces, lifting one leg at a time.
focus on the abs doing the work so we don't get a lot of neck involved. Okay, 20 second rest, you're gonna come back up to standing. Next, we've got split squats. We're going to do 20 seconds on one side and flip over straight into 20 seconds on the other side. So, left or right foot in front, left leg back, getting prepared. We're going to slightly hinge forward and we're going to do our nice deep split squats, 30 seconds on this side. Getting deep in each squat. We're gonna get ready to turn over at the side. Repeat 20 seconds on the other leg. Again, slightly leaning forward just to bias that glute of the front leg that's working. So body weight forward. Still keeping your posture. Okay, finish the rep. 20 seconds rest. Next, we're gonna go into our oblique climber. So I want your hands on the floor, legs extended back, like you're in a high plank position. Okay, right knee to left elbow. Squeeze up, return the leg, squeeze the left leg to right elbow. Keep it steady and squeezy to focus on the abs. Okay, coming back up to standing, we're gonna go into our static lateral lunge. Really nice wide legs here. You're gonna feel a good stretch down the adductors with every lunge movement. Okay, we'll get ready. Okay, nice big bend of the knee, feel that stretch along that lengthened leg. as low as you can go. If you can get any lower, even better. Okay, legs in. You've got 20 seconds rest. That was one round complete. So well done. We're gonna go into our second round. You've got 10 seconds. So we're gonna prepare into our sumo deadlift once again. Wide feet, slightly turned out, really emphasize those hips going back with a nice flat back. Okay, let's go. If you can't quite touch the floor, that's fine. Hands on the hips or hands to the front. Make sure you're sending those hips back because you want to open up that glute muscle and give it a good squeeze as we come up. Okay, 20 second rest. We're gonna go back down to the mat for our alternating V-ups. So legs and the legs away from you, but have them slightly bent. That just helps with keeping that neutral spine rather than arching off the back of the floor. So lower back into the floor. We wanna kind of keep that there. Big reach up. Touch the shoelaces.
20 seconds rest as we get into our next position, which is our split squats. Remember, we did 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side, okay? Set up, I've got my right foot in front, left leg behind. Bias your weight slightly forward to really open up the glute, okay? So split squat down, curling up. Change sides. Okay, coming back down to the mat for our oblique climber. Remember this is nice and squeezy, not fast and furious. Focus on those abs that are working to support you. Okay, we are coming back up. Next, we've got our lateral lunges. Nice wide stance, hinging from side to side. Okay, remember getting the hips as low as you can on each side. Okay, that's the end of our second round of these five exercises. We've got one more round to get through. So grab some water quickly. We've got about 10 seconds. 10 seconds now to get started again. We're gonna go into our sumo deadlift to begin for 40 seconds. Really focus on good alignment and a nice hip hinge. Okay, we're touching down, we're coming up. Send those hips back, get nice and deep. Make sure the knees aren't collapsing in at any point. You want to think of those, toe, those knees aiming for the middle of those toes. So going out. Okay, 20 second rest. We're going to come down onto the mat next for those alternating V ups. Focusing on those abs. Okay, extend those legs away, arms overhead, let's get ready.
Okay, well done. I'm going to stand back up, get ready for our split squats. 20 seconds on one side and then 20 seconds on the other. Weight slightly biased forwards. Let's get ready to go. Okay, switch sides. Okay, next we're coming back down to the mat for our oblique climber exercise. Okay, coming down. High plank position, make sure your shoulders are stacked over your rib, your ribs, shoulders stacked over your wrists. Three, two, one. Let's go, knee to elbow. Okay, coming up to standing, we've got our nice wide lateral lunges next to next. Keeping our legs nice and static, so we're not stepping in and out, just lunging side to side. Thank you all for joining in. My name's Sophia. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Synergy YouTube channel.